Hey, hey, my fellow vote drawlers, Vaddy will here, and welcome to another follow for music video and mod review. Juniper made into skumas, cause when she's that's all you need. Yeah, yeah, I know, guys. I haven't really thought of a song for Fallout 4 yet, and it, you know, I'm doing this because it's based on YouTube guidelines, and music videos seems to have a little bit more leeway when it comes to skimpy stuff. But, anyways, my character Ariella has been finding a bunch of ghouls on the beach for Fortnite, and I think, you know, she needs a new weapon to have a little bit more. More fun. We have Scar L by Shoe Burglar, and it is nerf or nothing when it comes to killing ghouls. Nerf Master Blaster Double Barrel Pump Action Power. It's nerf or nothing. Now the score can be found at the Wilson Adamator HQ and this weapon is definitely a unique one. The weapon is from the game Fortnite as you can see with the logo on the side. It is a bright yellow color with an orange tip at the end of the barrel just because well it is actually a nerf version of the gun. Now it's to let people know that it is a toy gun. Now the ammo it uses are these uh, nerf darts that can be crafted at the chemistry station. And the damage on them is uh, quite low, so it's kind of like firing a 10mm uh, round. It's kind of similar damage. So yeah, it's like shooting, you know, foam dart. Well, these are actually foam darts. <laughs> I shall demonstrate the scar on these very dangerous gas canisters in third person and first person perspective. Now I like using these gas canisters because they have a big X in the middle plus uh, they don't really leave a mess like you know body parts or whatever when I blow them up. Now the interesting thing is that the nerf darts are actual projectiles. Uh, when I'm shooting this wall right here, the darts actually ricochet off the wall and hit these mannequins right here. And so if you look very closely, you can also find the darts on the floor which you can pick up and reuse. It is kind of like in Skyrim where you shoot an arrow from a bow and then finding the arrow and reusing it again. But yeah, the nerf version is kind of weak, however, we can go to the weapons workbench and make it so the Scar would be using 5.56 instead. Now you will notice that the sound effect is a little bit different now since it is using an actual bullet. Shit. A lot of blood. Now maybe I should update and play some Fortnite, I haven't played in a few months and whatnot and I heard there's like a, I don't know, a totally new world or whatever. And I wasn't a good builder, but I was a decent shooter. Now we all know that with a new weapon, we always need a new armor to go with it. We have Emily the Rochford, Lily outfit by Trophy Hunter and Grim Sovereign, and this is an elegant and cute outfit to wear when you are fighting. Now the Lily outfit can be crafted at the commission station, and there is a pair of gloves and the outfit itself. Now the Lily outfit does look like it's based on Lolita fashion, you know, those uh, Victorian style clothing that a lot of Japanese girls would wear, and you know, sometimes weeaboos would wear them too. The Lily outfit can be customized and you can have a thousand different color combinations. I have made a few different colorations just so you, you can get like a good idea on what they would look like and what can be changed. Uh, right now my character and her three followers, Piper, Kate, and Curry, looks like they, uh, oh I don't know, they kind of look like uh, cheerleaders, maids, or maybe even sailor scouts from Sailor Moon. The Lily outfit belongs to Emily, who is a character from a fighting game called Tekken. She belongs to a wealthy family, and apparently her specialty is her range because of her long legs, which looks very lovely, yes indeed. So, all that's left is for us to determine which of us will claim the box as our own. How about you? The Lily outfit will be perfect with the Kung Fu Master mod that I featured many years ago. Now the only thing I do wish was that the Kung Fu Master mod would have like an option for a female voice but yeah, it's, it's okay. I will be putting the Kung Fu mod in the video description below. 
Now, the outfit is available in uh, 4K and 8K textures and available in CBBE, Atomic Beauty, and a few other body replaces, so that's kind of nice. Now, I would not mind if Lily kicked the heck out of me, you know, a wealthy, pretty girl with nice legs. I wouldn't mind if she stomped on my grenades. Yes, right now, she, you know, stomp them, and uh, yeah, I would not mind. How about you guys? Would you mind if Lily was stomping on your grenades? Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. I already took care of those super mutants. You did? Huh. Now that's service for you. Here's your money. Oh, and why don't you take this old book of mine? Been holding on to it for a while. If you ever happen to go back there. Well, anyways, I am going to be making my character look a little bit more like Lily from Tekken. We have Anime Race Nanako-chan version 1501, and it's by Hyako Mod, and this is the world-famous anime mod for Fallout 4. Now, I have featured this mod a few months ago, and it was definitely one of the best mods for Fallout 4 for the year. So, uh, right now, I decided to do an update on the mod just because, well, there has been a few things that has been, uh, you know, added to this mod. Now, the first thing is the face preset. There are three different faces and well, it's actually more of the eyes, the eyelids and the eyebrows where there are uh, major differences. Uh, you know, we have the cute face, pretty face and cool face and it seems that the smaller your eyes are the more cool and slutty you are yeah it's kind of weird but that's that's kind of what it seems like you're the more cool mature slutty type and then with the eyes you can choose from a few different dozen colors I do forgot that if there were any like new colors added compared to a few months ago um, however the big change is the hairstyle now there are three different hairstyles and each one has an option of cat ears or eyeglasses and there are plenty of anime characters that have cat ears and eyeglasses especially on the sad panda site if you guys know what I mean you guys know the sad panda site right I mentioned it a couple of times <laughs> but anyways and then right here and uh, we have a lot and I do mean a lot of hair color that is available uh, I'm, I'm sure that you're gonna find a color to match whatever anime character you are trying to make in Fallout 4 or, you know whoever you're trying to base it off of So yeah, what can we do with all these anime girls right here? Well, I cannot show you guys this on YouTube because it would be a quote-unquote suggestive and whatnot. However, it is available for my patron supporters on that famous adult website with the initials P and H. I can't really say it because, you know, the YouTube mods will be scanning this and they would see that and yeah, anyways. Now the mod is called Slave and Model Poses and yeah, YouTube will not like it. Uh, you know, after all, because I did feature a Claire red fuel mod I featured it a couple months ago where she's wearing like a ball gag a leather harness for Resident Evil 2 but yeah the link for my patreon page can be found in the video description below uh, if you want to you know become my patron that would be fantastic you can uh, get uh, access to the not safe for work version of this video and as well as the not safe for work version of my other videos for Skyrim and Resident Evil so yeah you guys I know you guys want to take a gander and in this shite hole we call a world that's really saying something well, I think I'm gonna need a safety word if I'm gonna be in this position, but uh, what if we couldn't talk because I have a gag in my mouth? Well, uh, what if we had a pit boy to do the talking? We have Eden, voice assistant by Sevo, and this will give a voice to our pit boy. Now, uh, whenever we do like certain things in the game, uh, your pit boy will say something, will uh, have a comment. Now, for example, when I put in a holotape. Holotape inserted. Please, inserted. I don't know what you people want from me. Or when I select a quest from the quest list. Mission set is active. Mission set is active. Mission set is active. Mission deactivated. Mission deactivated. Now my favorite would be this one right here when I enter VAT mode. Uh, the pit boy does have plenty to say. Entering killing mode.
Critical damage available. Critical damage has been executed. Aiden will alert us when we level up, discover a new location, or become addicted to drugs. The Ken's effects are expired. New location discovered. And I do wish that there were several voice options that we could choose for Eden, like, oh, I don't know, like a cute anime voice, or maybe a sultry lady, like these, for example, right here. Well, anyways, that's it for this episode of Follow For Mod Review and Music Video. I met this lady in solitude. She has great hair and dang, she looks good. I made her Yara of my house because she looked fine, but she whooped out a sword that was bigger than mine. <laughs> now, I do hope you guys enjoy. Now, if you did, make sure to bang that like and subscribe button, bang it good, and consider being my patron to uh, get uncensored versions of my videos that usually contain some lovers labbing and whatnot. Well then, stay skimpy, my friends. Stay skimpy.